Hey guys, and welcome back to another campaign challenge run. Today, we're going to be attempting to defeat all enemies at the Catalonian Fields in under 30 minutes. And now, said Father Armand, is where I enter the story. The battle between Hun and Roman was fought at the end of June 451. The Romans were commanded by Aetius, a brilliant and celebrated general who had been held hostage by the Huns when he was a boy. Aetius knew Attila, and he knew the Hunnic ways. Since he had returned to the Western Empire, Aetius had done more than any man to keep Rome alive throughout the period of barbarian invasions. His army was not large enough to face Attila alone. So Aetius convinced tribes of the Alans and Visigoths to ally with him. Even though these dubious allies had a common hatred of the Huns, it was still a remarkable achievement on Aetius' part to have drawn them into an effective military relationship. The Huns were eager for battle. Attila's shamans looked at the entrails of cattle and the color of sheep bones and prophesied that the Huns would meet defeat on the Catalonian fields. However, they also foresaw that the commander of the opposing force would be killed. Attila must have thought this a fair trade, because he brought battle to Aetius and the Goths. Before blood was drawn, Attila stood before his assembled troops, clutching the sword of Mars in his fist. He told them, it is a right of nature to glut the soul with vengeance. I shall hurl the first spear at the foe. If any man can stand at rest while Attila fights, he is a dead man. So with this map, we have three enemies to defeat. The Romans, the Visigoths, and the Alans. And it's a deathmatch-like start with a pop limit of 150. So if you can see at the top, we have tons of resources to start out with. And the scout support says basically we are on the right side of the river, our enemies are on the left side. The Franks are just scattered around and don't matter. And the units that our opponents make are the Romans will make infantry, meaning the swordsman line, cataphracts and siege weapons, meaning trebs and scorpions. The Visigoths are green and they'll train some Huskarls and some cavalry. And the Alans will train knights and cav archers. So let's just quick take a quick look at what this map looks like. We'll zoom as far out as we can here. And we see no one starts out with any buildings, pretty much. And that means if we rush these people right at the start, we can actually get to their villagers in time to stop these buildings from going up. Most notably these Romans. They have a few swords been protecting their base, and they'll be the strongest opponent to kill. But they don't start out with any castles or any barracks or pretty much anything at all other than those two town centers. So if we rush them right at the start, we can stop these buildings from going up. Likewise, we can stop this castle, and we can stop this castle. So that's going to be our plan. We're not actually going to use these villagers to build any town centers. We're just going to spam down as many stables as we can to create knights to rush the enemy. So let's go and take an attempt and see what that looks like. Okay, so you guys go to the Visigoths, you, to, you to the Romans. Now you must keep the Romans from killing us all. Let's get some stables going. Okay, let's... We're going to want to use one of you as a runner. Oh yes, we'll stop a blacksmith, perfect. And which of those two are being chased? You are. Okay, perfect. And now you. Just get them to chase you to the ends of the earth, pretty much. Now keep running, keep running, keep running. I'll steal their sheep. We need to find the castle. Oh, you got trapped. That's not good. And kill the castle villager. And now we'll do the same thing. You guys go up to the top. Oh, kill the castle villagers, please. Oh, yes. Okay. We got the castle villager. Now the 
what we need to do is find the one they're chasing and have them just run away. And again, the one they're chasing, run away. Don't get the second barracks up, don't get the stable up. There's the villager. Kill her, make them delete. Run away. And we come back down here and try to stop the castles again. Get that villager. Okay, nice. We're off to a decent start here. We sell the stone. We use that for more villagers. Keep Just keep running. And keep trying to snipe the villas. Now our knights are coming in. Great. Snipe the towers. Stop buildings, spread out a bit, and once we get the numbers, then we can engage the champions. And let's see what what can we stop down here, if anything. Hopefully those castles are not up yet. Don't fight the champions yet. Yes, the castles are not up. That one's going up though. Can we force a delete out of them? Yes, we can. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, things are going well. Now we just need to group up the knights a bit. not to let them sneak up towers anywhere. Take a good fight against the champions and then blow up TCs. Well, where's their army? Are they just not here? Well, I'll, I'm fine with that. They do have a second barracks, though. I don't like their second barracks and they do have a tower. I don't like the tower because they might be those garrisoned inside of it. And we snipe farms. <laughs> Stay lots of wood from those farms and go for that TC. Oop, they finally brought their army back. Let's maybe start heading down here now. Let's get you guys out of the way. Okay, now stop any fleeing villagers. really don't like that tower. And another TC to blow up. Okay, that tower doesn't have a flag on it. Good. Oh, there's a castle. We gotta stop the castle. Stop the castle. Oh, there's two castles. Oh, we stopped both those castles. Nice. Just keep massing up. Okay, if we can get the town center and their villages, yes, we got all of them. That's a group of 60 knights. Now we just need to keep Green's buildings from going up until our knights get back and we can take a big fight against their army. So no castles, please. Uh, don't run past Cyan. Oh, well, I guess you kind of right now. Doesn't matter. See, we don't have a big enough force down here by itself to fight, so we're just going to need to kill buildings until our Sauronites get there. And hopefully they won't engage Blue on the way. And we'll just run their army around. Nice. Oh, but Red's going there, and Red can distract Cyan for us. Okay, we still have 90 knights left, which is a huge number at this point, and I'm really happy about that, and I think we should be fine. Okay, deleting more stuff, get that army out of the way. I want knights run faster. Run as though you're actually on a horse. And when their army's just coming in a single file line, then we can engage it, take a nice fight. Now when they're kind of grouped up, we can run away. 
and just see if there's any more buildings for us to snipe. There's a villager for us to snipe. But there's a villager for us to snipe too. Do not let him run away. Okay, I hope we got him. Yeah, looks like there's a dead body there. And now we fight. This should be a good fight because they don't have a castle. Great, and now we just kill villagers and blow up TCs. Especially the kill villager part, as they're trying to get a castle. This guy's under the TC. There you go, and go for those villagers, don't let them escape. There's a castle there too. Oh, so many castles. And another castle. Where are they getting all this stone from? It's because they keep deleting it when it's not complete. <laughs> Okay, we'll have a few more villagers now. These guys have to be defeated soon. My only worry is that they managed to run some villagers away. Okay, that barracks is deleted. They're deleting stuff. Perfect. Okay, we still have about 80 knights. I'll bring them up, and these guys don't actually make counter units, but the Visigoths look like they should be defeated soon. There we go. Any idle military? Oh, hello, you're still up here? And that's all of our idols. And we'll still get a few knights periodically from buying food. Oh, there's some villagers. Kill those villagers. And what we want to do, take one good fight against their army to get their numbers down, and then go and kill buildings. Oh look, green's still here. And above all, do not let villagers escape and run across the map to rebuild. There we go, there's their army. Don't worry about mangonels when we have knights. Just kind of want to punch out that archery range there if we can. This river will run red with the blood of Visigoths and Romans. And then we'll just kind of take the low HP knights if we have a couple, yeah. And your, your job is just patrol for villagers. As we now run in and try to take out those production buildings, like those stables there. Up in there is the same thing, those villagers are going to be doing buildings. So if we wanted to be really fast about this, we could do what we did at the beginning of stopping buildings, but to all three instead of just to the Romans and Visigoths. But I am rather pleased with how this went. Let's take out the stables while you guys attack the town center. Get you to form up. There we go. Oh, there's more shallows there. We can patrol. And the TC is gone. Get the bills. Just go for this town center now. There's other few can go for the castle. Let's do the town center before the castle. I don't like it shooting arrows at us. And maybe let's finish off the stables because it's kind of low already. Up in that night tide. You guys go for that. If you can go for the stable. Oh yes, Red's going to help us out with some long swordsmen. Oh, there's a bit of DE lag. 
And I think we got this now. Under, we have about, have to do it in under 30. We're at 20, not quite. 1912. Oh, they've upgraded to two-handed swordsmen. Yes, and they will do damage against the buildings if the two-handed swordsmen get in there. Oh, well. <laughs> that castle will go down really quickly, and we'll finish off these villagers. There we go. That range, I hope that's a deleting a building. Feels like they're deleting buildings. Oh, no, maybe not. Army lies scattered. Yes. Now there is nothing to stop our invasion of Italy. All right. 30 minutes. The real challenge should have been 20 minutes. Okay, so that was nice. Just kind of stop the castles from going up while you kill the Romans. And if we were really fast, we could also do the same thing to the Alans and not let any building go up. So just like a deathmatch game, as the hints tell us, we try to send our starter units to snipe villagers. So GG. And we'll check out the story. It was a catastrophic battle. One of the largest and greatest the world has ever seen. The stream was turned to a torrent by the rushing of blood. I pity those that were forced to slake their thirst from it. Cada vera vero inumera, the Romans said afterwards. Truly countless bodies. Perhaps 300,000 men were left dead on the Catalonian fields. It is said the ghosts of those killed continued to fight for several days. I passed within inches of the fell Hun king as he stalked the battlefield trying to determine which of his chieftains and allies yet lived. When he found me, huddled beneath my shield, I made my peace with God. But Attila did not seek my decapitation. He saw that I was a holy man and ordered me to join his retinue of foreign advisors. That is how you know so much of the Huns, I offer. The priest nodded. Despite the carnage, the outcome of the legendary battle was unclear. Attila had lost much of his cavalry, but the Roman army would never recover from its losses. For a time, no one knew if the Hunnic king would continue to pursue the hand of Honoria. But what of the prophecy, I asked? Did Aetius die on the battlefield? Nay, it was Theodoric the Goth, not Aetius who died and fulfilled the prophecy. Aetius knew that if he utterly destroyed the Huns, then the Visigoths would have no need for a Roman alliance, and Rome would face yet another barbarian threat. And so, Aetius retired from military life, hoping that the outcome of the Catalonian fields would leave the Huns and Goths in a stalemate. He hoped he had done enough to save his empire. He had not. All right, GG. Look at those good military stats. 243 killed, only 88 lost. No economy. We don't need an economy. Those three villagers did manage to collect 2,000 gold. Good for them. And the our ally did go to him. Three villager high, marvelous. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.